Hi everyone, this is Core with MiniesGallery.com. This is a quick preview of all 14 miniatures that are included in the two sets that comprise of the D&D Icons of the Realms Legend of Dritzt 35th Anniversary pre-painted miniature sets. Both of these sets will be released on October 18th and each include seven miniatures. Both sets include a Dritz and Guinevar mini which are posed differently in each set. First, I will take a closer look at the minis included in the Family and Foes set. Here we have Jarl Axel Bainray. While there are not a lot of sculpted details on this mini, there are a lot of nicely painted details. Although it is hard to see under the wide brim of his hat, this mini does depict Jarl Axel wearing an eye patch over his right eye. The gold trim work on the hat and cape were nicely done. In total, I count nine different paint colors used on this mini, in addition to having his eye stamped on, as well as perhaps some sort of white tattoo on his left cheek. Next, we have Triel Bainray. This is a nice sculpt for a Drow Noble mini, and although at first glance it looks like it received a pretty basic paint application, there were some really nice details stamped onto her face, Additionally, the gold trim on the front of her dress was decently painted, and the back of her dress actually has some blending applied, transitioning from a brighter red on the top to a deeper red towards the bottom. Grumpf Bainray was given a pretty basic paint application. However, he also did receive some nicely stamped details on his face, as well as decently painted gold trim on his clothes. Additionally, there was a symbol stamped on his sternum area, I really like this pose as it could be used to represent a great range of characters and I am quite happy that they chose not to add a spell effect to this sculpt. Next up is Malice Duerden. There's a lot of nice details captured in this sculpt such as the different layers of clothing she is wearing. The gold trim work is really nicely painted on this mini and she also receives some nice details stamped onto her face. This is a great looking miniature that could also be used to represent a great range of characters. Zaknafian Duerden also received a pretty basic paint application. However, the fine gold trim work all over the upper torso is a really nicely done and really elevates the overall appearance of this miniature. This mini also received some nicely stamped details on his face. Here we have Guinevar in a really nice fierce looking pose. This mini was painted all black, and then some metallic blue lines were stamped onto her. However, I'm uncertain what they were meant to represent. Perhaps they were supposed to depict a bluish sheen of light bouncing off her shiny fur. If so, I'm not really sure that this achieves the effect they were looking for. I have seen some good uses of blending and highlighting techniques used on some WizKids minis as of late, and I think the overall appearance of this mini could have really benefited from using some of those techniques. Last in this set is Dritz Duerden. This is a great action fighting pose this miniature is sculpted in. However, there were not a lot of finely sculpted details on this mini. It did receive a reasonable amount of paint steps, and I think the overall appearance does look pretty good. Now I will move on to the minis in the Tabletop Companion set. Many fans and miniature collectors have long been awaiting receiving a Regis pre-painted miniature. There have been one or more pre-painted minis made of each of Dritz's Icewind Dale trilogy companions over the years, so it is great to finally get a Regis. This is a nice sculpt of Regis and was given an excellent paint application for such a small miniature. If you look really close, you will also see a nice ruby red glow from his amulet and what appears to be some sort of face stamped onto his belt pouch. Next, we have Artemis and Trary. I really like the sculpted pose of this mini, although some of the sculpted details could have been better defined. The paint application was average and complements the mini fairly well. Here is a comparison against a prior version of the mini from the older Wizards of the Coast D&D Miniatures line. Brunor Brattlehammer received a good sculpt with a fairly good paint job. It would have been nice if his blue armor and shield had received a dark wash, but overall he looks pretty decent and I really appreciate all the extra details they added to his shield. 
Compared to prior sculpts, he seems slightly larger in scale and has a bit more girth, which suits him well. Next is Caddy Bree, which received a good sculpt and was painted very well with over 10 different paint colors used in addition to details stamped onto her face. I think the better quality paint job of this mini is well reflected when posed next to the prior version of her. I really like the sculpted pose of this Wolfgar mini. This was well painted and received some subtle dark washes which really helped give this mini a really good overall appearance. While I did also really like the prior Wolfgar miniature made by WizKids, they are both a vast improvement from the mini made previously by Wizards of the Coast. Here we have the alternate sculpt for Guinevar, which is again painted with the blue lines which I am confused by. I like the size of these minis, and I think the muscle tone was well captured in these sculpts. Both of these minis are in large size bases, whereas the two prior sculpts for these minis were posed on medium size bases. And finally we have the alternate Dritz Duerden sculpt. This is a unique new pose for this mini, and I quite like it. The paint application was average, however I do appreciate that they used a subtle dark wash on his green cape. Over the years we have seen several different Dritz sculpts, and I think these are quite improved over some of the past ones. And that's it, thank you for watching. I would also like to thank WizKids for providing me with these sets to preview. Please like this video if you found it helpful, and be sure to subscribe to see more of my quick reviews.